Hi, I'm Laura Stokes from Anne Arundel County Fire Department. I'm a 20-year veteran in charge of EMS quality improvement. An AED is an automatic external defibrillator. This is a device that, applied to the chest in a patient with sudden cardiac arrest, starts the heart again. It's important that we start the heart quickly. For every minute without CPR or defibrillation, the chances of successful resuscitation are 7 to 10 percent less. The American Heart Association has recommended that the two most important interventions in saving a sudden cardiac arrest victim are early defibrillation and CPR. Many places have AEDs that have automatic alarms. Security is called and the call is called into 911. A lot of technology is within these facilities, however, some is not and these are simple little AEDs that are kept on a counter or a tabletop. Make sure that 911 has been called. This is the AED. A typical AED will have a container and an attached bag. Open both. Once they're open, you'll find that it's a very simple device with an on-off button and a shock button. Remove the pads from the container. These are sticky. Peel them off and apply them as shown on the chest. Once these are applied, you'll turn the device on. It'll then prompt you the rest of the way. When the device is turned on, you'll hear a beep. Remove clothes from patient's chest. As you can see, it's very simple. Once the clothes are Feel removed... Peel white pads from gray plastic case. Attach pads to bare skin exactly as shown. It walks you through every step. Remove clothes from patient's chest. You are not going to get a big shot. What happens is the defibrillator is placed on the patient's chest. Once it's on, a single button is pressed and the rhythm of the heart is analyzed. There's a rhythm called ventricular fibrillation that we need to shock in order to get the patient out of sudden cardiac arrest. This device monitors that rhythm and shocks all by itself once you press a button. There's no chance of you being shocked. Oh my gosh, Maria, are you okay? Is that Maria, are you okay? Go get the AED. Once you see the sudden cardiac arrest what? victim has fallen to the ground, check for a pulse. Are they breathing normally? If not, begin CPR immediately. You'll want to put your hands in the middle of the chest, on the sternum, and compress at least two inches, at least 100 times per minute. You can use the beat from Staying Alive, the song. This is an AED. It says defibrillator. It doesn't say AED. It's the same thing. You'll find it located at the elevators within the hospital and in a lot of other places. It may be available outside major stores, malls, airports, and the like. As you open up the cabinet, you'll notice that it has lights and a lock. The alarm will sound. That's a good thing. We want help to come to you as soon as possible. Don't hesitate to open the cabinet. It'll also say, trained responders only. If you're watching this video, you're a trained responder. <laughs> Once the cabinet's opened, you'll find the small defibrillator located inside. Michelle's now going to open the case. While Brooke is doing CPR, Michelle's going to turn on the AED monitor using the green button. Remove clothes from patient's chest. For simulation purposes, we'll be opening Maria's coat only. Peel white pads from gray plastic case. Attach pads to bare skin exactly as shown. If your patient's more than 55 pounds, you can use the pads as they are. If it's a pediatric patient less than 55 pounds, the pediatric adapter will have to be plugged into the unit. Pull the adapter out. You'll notice it says less than 55 pounds. It has instructions to place this on top of the AED device and plug it in. That's all you need to do. The pads come in a case that's self-adhering. Pull back the pads to remove the sticky and apply them as shown. Once you've applied the pads and the patient's rhythm has been detected by the monitor, it may tell you to shock. Clear everybody away from the victim 
and press the orange shock button. The patient may twitch or jump a little. That's normal. Begin your CPR right away. Remember, it's important to continue CPR and the AED until help arrives. Don't forget to join us for Save a Life, Annapolis CPR Day, Saturday, March 10, from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. here at Anne Arundel Medical Center. And thanks a lot.